This presentation is brought to you by Science Invents. Join us at unitedinventors.org. We are here uh, uh, for Science Events X news reports, uh, and this uh, particular uh, past few weeks have seen some remarkable events that have everything to do with our first episode, The Future of Electricity. Um, we have been witness to, uh, to something remarkable. If you saw uh, from the International Space Station what, what has been happening in, in, across California, uh, you would see... Uh, a big, a big black hole <laughs> in the heart of uh, the electronic economy and the technology uh, that powers our planet. And so having our partner, Ron Hoffman, uh, who is in Eureka, California right now, in the middle of it all, uh, and uh, is going to describe for us uh, the great predicted California blackout. So Ron, would you like to, to take us from the few days before and just to five or six uh, uh, key events along the chronology of the past two weeks. Yes, be happy to. On, uh, I think it was October 2nd, there was an article in one of the local uh, news magazines, and it had a big full-page ad about this uh, predicted blackout. Well, I didn't take it seriously, for one, and I didn't, I don't think very many people did. And, uh, that was on, I think, October 2nd. Then somewhere the 9th or the 10th, uh, we actually experienced it, and everybody was caught in the dark. <laughs> Literally, yeah. Literally. And uh, if he went out, just all the generators that anybody had in stock sold out rather quickly, and, and lines were... For example, at Pearson's and a couple of their stores that had stuff they sold out of everything, like extension cords, batteries for flashlights and things like that, and generator, of course. Well, the gas stations were closed also, so you couldn't get gasoline. So it didn't do much good to have a generator. Um, so I don't really know how all this panned out with the people. Then in so on the, uh, then they brought power back up on the 12th, I think. And we had some relief, but they threatened again with another one. Now they're talking about wind as being the cause of this potential blackout, but I took videos of plenty of trees and I didn't see any wind in our area. Um, so then on the 26th, I believe, it was a Saturday, uh, we had the second blackout. Of course, they postponed it a few days, um, one day at a time yeah. for some reason. I guess they didn't wasn't windy enough or something. And then on the 26th, uh, uh, Saturday, I believe, it started, and we had the second blackout. And from what I heard, it's like four or five million people were affected, <laughs> you know, at least a couple million people in quite a large area. And, well, people were a little bit more prepared. On Sunday, I started, in the meantime, I was buying some of the hardware and stuff for our new project that, that we think is a better solution than generators. And I went into the the, the one I went to different stores. Well, the only store is Sunday. Ron, on the field, in the field at the Eureka Co-op, California. Can you believe this? United States, California. All because of a human chosen outage. Look at this. Look at this. Here's the meat counter. Look at this. Look at that cooler section. Look at the, all this meat counter, empty. When are they gonna get the food back? What do they do with all this food? Man, this is crazy. Yeah, 
and uh, it took it, it it took a couple three days after the outage to get the food and get their stores back in operation probably three or four days yeah i i i just sent you guys uh both of you gentlemen um a uh, picture we'll put up on our uh uh in the broadcast um uh, here of the before and after or, well basically the the degree of the blackout since the west is it doesn't have that many major cities in the middle midwest that but you can see basically the darkness of california it's just amazing um what do you what do you um what, so so there were three three phases of the blackouts correct Two, two blackouts, mm -hmm. one with the warning that nobody paid attention to, mm -hmm. and uh, they definitely got our attention after the two blackouts. Mm -hmm. The second one was, was pre-announced as well. Um, yeah, and yeah, but it got delayed a couple of few days, so we were like, oh, maybe it won't happen. Oh, well, maybe it will happen. Well, maybe it won't happen. Mm -hmm. Well, it didn't happen. They got stop sign or their yeah stop signs at all the lights. Who put those out last night? How long is the power outage gonna go? This is a big situation. Our freezer's been off all night. I wonder all the stores I must be closed. The gas stations are closed now. quite an incredible picture there but uh bob 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 what are your thoughts if i may uh we have our our our, our trusted advisor uh to science and events uh robert richards on the line as well uh what are your what are well, your i'm trying to, I'm trying to get an overall context rodney is this this i i read in the papers here that pg and e says this will go on for 10 years is that correct <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay, but is this something is this something Not that's we have our way. Is this something that's predominantly like gonna be scheduled through fire season? And if so, what would you consider to be fire season in Northern California? Well typically it's not in the winter. Uh, it's, it should be done now because we could be getting rain um, on and off during the winter till then, then the dangerous flooding, to, um, and uh, till Mayish or so, and uh, so I think I don't know if, if fire season is definitely in the summer, or towards the end of the summer after it dries out, so like July, August, September. The, the grid is um, is tremendously over over uh, overloaded uh, for sure. This could have been also a test to a, of a real life what happens if. A major uh, part of the uh, of the grid simply gets knocked out for some reason. Uh, how will how would people respond and prepare? Um, and if there was one place that uh, is highly dependent uh, on electricity, it's uh, Silicon Valley. Do you know who the the largest? I believe the largest electricity bill in the world is. I believe it's Google, uh, with the millions and millions of servers that uh, serve all of the things that we uh, sometimes love to use. Um, you, uh, so, uh, Bob, you, you, well, yeah. well, yeah, I've got another question, Ron. Right. How, yeah, I mean, the generators that someone would buy here in Boulder, Colorado would tend to be gasoline or propane. I mean, uh, but what are people doing if they, if they run out of propane, they can't buy propane or if the gas pumps, well, they have no, generator. they have no generator. So that's the, uh, second phase and the third phase is if you do run them they're noisy and very polluting so that's not surely not a, a good solution if they're going to predict power outages for 10 years that's uh, an enormous that's hard to believe and yeah so what what uh, what science invents is is uh, uh, announcing in in the next uh, couple of days and making available for pre-orders uh, is something called the Earth Power System, and it's comprised of uh, of a few straightforward components that, that are basically in a in approximately two two foot by two foot by two foot uh, 
black box uh, that uh, is is uh, contains the following parts. Uh, can you, can you describe the parts of the system? Well, the, the the main idea we're going after is energy storage, not necessarily electrical storage, but anything that stores energy so we can provide electricity. And what I did is I have the model working. In fact, right now I have a my refrigerator plugged into an inverter on a battery and I'm just curious if the refrigerator will run all night long on one battery so we'll see what uh, kind of battery what kind of battery are you talking about deep cycle with the deep cycle marine battery the biggest one I could find it, and I fully charged it I believe so I'm gathering components that I think are important in um uh, monitoring, you know, of uh, the battery fully charged to uh, when it actually isn't effective because you don't want low voltage feeding, feeding, feeding anything. <clears throat> and we have, uh, I have up on the screen uh, for the viewing audience here uh, a, a a diagram and a cutaway of uh, of the of the of the uh, Earth Power box. Um, uh, plugging into that box is, as you can also see, uh, various uh, ways. But the, the primary ways to to uh, recharge the, the the batteries are uh, a uh, for with a solar panel. Um, so uh, you can be constantly topping off the ba the battery with that. And uh, something that's very innovative that's is called the Earth Power Plug, which we will go into in a future discussion. But uh, uh, ways to generate electricity that you're wasting uh um with the with the uh, with your with your grid line in right now and um and uh, then uh, a, a micro hydro uh, will be a future addition to it as well but it basically is silent um and it can actually be used if you have enough of uh amperage uh, you could have say several of these boxes um and uh, they're going to be somewhere in the in, in the you know affordable range of uh of you know, a thousand dollars or something like that. Uh, we're still settling on a final price, but and it will definitely become first. It'd be a first come, first serve for pre-orders. Um, we'll make them as fast as we can, uh, and and uh, and then new types of power ins will be made available and with additional battery options too, such as lipos, and uh, you'll be able to control it with with basically a Samsung or uh, iOS. I'm sorry, an Android or iOS. Uh, device, uh, so uh, the app to control it uh, is is also uh, going to be part of the package um, with the instruction of how to download it. And basically, uh, you have a silent, uh, rechargeable uh, power system for your home, um, and I'm very excited about it because uh, it can. Uh, Ron Ron has been uh, you know in inspiring a lot of people uh, in this enterprise. Um, and beyond with uh, the extent of the ideas uh, that are going into this um, earth power system. And we aim to get it to California as fast as we possibly can. Any final thoughts from, uh, from you, Ron, or uh, Bob? No, I'm not, well, well, Ron, when do you think you're going to have it tested out? Because I'm kind of a naive kind of guy. I'd like to know how much of the home I could power with this particular system or how long. What, what's for, the data going to be out? The, the first phase is I'm, I'm just right now trying to evaluate one battery, one inverter, one charger system and see how long um, the refrigerator will run before it needs to be recharged. One of the, th one of the things about this is that each appliance, say a, refu a refrigerator, it uh, has a different uh, a duty cycle than, say, a toaster or a, a, a you know washing machine. Um, no, I, I, I was able to run a, a, a heat gun fine, but I was not able to run a microwave on it on this one item. Yeah. So what would what 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 will what will absolutely be a part of this is the ability to add n number of battery pa packages that are the battery boxes that are separate from the the earth power box itself so you can ex 
expand uh, to up to what we or what we want is, is to get up to 100 amps, uh, which is certainly sufficient to run a, I would say a three uh, a two bedroom home in a, in a in a standard kitchen and so forth. Okay, it sounds great, Ron. Can't wait to see it. Thank well, you. We're, we're, we're rushing on it right now. Yeah. And uh, we look forward to uh, the rest of the of the show here uh, that is coming up right now. Uh, we'll transition to that now, and also make some announcements about some tournaments so far uh, for those of us uh, uh, out there who are uh, into the game of uh, billiards. We're going to be using uh, 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 having some fun uh, throughout this series uh, uh, each week, and uh, and uh, it'll it'll become more clear why. Uh, we can teach a lot of uh, 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 children of all ages <laughs> uh, a, a wonderful game uh, uh, that I happen to love, and so does Ron. So, gentlemen, uh, we're moving on to the rest of the show. Thank you. This message is proudly sponsored by Science Invents.